hey everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i want to do another lightroom editing if you look at the histogram you could always see the information about my exposure settings so i have my iso 200 and i'm using 35 millimeter and aperture is 6.3 and my shutter speed is 1 over 400. let's start working on the photo the first thing i would like to do here today is um, changing the profile for adobe color to adobe portrait i'm going to change the white balance to daylight right here so as you can see our photo changed a little bit so this is before and this is after what do you think what's going on in the photo I feel like the face of the model is in bright um, sunlight, right? So we have very bright uh, um, situation going on here. We could s still see the details of her um, tank top, but I feel like I have to play with exposure and bring down the exposure a little bit. Okay, so let's look at the photo she has beautiful skin and i don't uh, think i'm gonna do a lot so i'm gonna bring down the highlights for this and i'm going to bring up the shadows so i'm gonna bring down the whites and the blacks so black slider is another way to play with the contrast if you look at here bring up the black spot 200 percent you don't see a lot of um, contrast the next section is presence i'm not going to play with that yet but i'll come back to presence section later but i'm going to bring up the vibrance so that we could see a little bit color so vibrance you could go monochrome as you can see here it does not have too much effect as saturation if you look at the saturation you could see the differences when you play with the uh, slider so let's go to tone curve okay so in this video i would like to give more information more highlights to tone curve as you can see here we have a line so this dot represents the highlights in the photo if i bring down the highlights right the photo is going darker and darker eventually it's gonna go very dark so you don't see any kind of detail here if you bring up the shadows you don't see nothing and our photo turns white all right so we we have midtones right in the middle so if you want to change anything in the photo, you have to analyze the exposure in the photo first. So we have shadows, we have very bright, harsh lighting situation going on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring down the highlights a little bit. Okay, so I am bringing down the highlights and I am going to bring up the shadows but as you can see we don't have a lot of contrast here so if you want to blend everything you just have to adjust the midtones a little bit as well we did not do a lot of work but we still did a little bit so the next section i am going to play is color mixer we could always go and change the skin tone i feel like i have to go a little bit yellow do this and um, let's look at the eyes of the model they're beautiful green color so i'm going to so color mixer affects the whole image so if you go back and see you could see that right so actually i'm going to bring down the midtones This is too bright for my liking, so I'm going to put this dot right here. All right, let's go on. So color grading. 
color grading we have the same settings like for like in this tone curve right let's look at it so we have midtones right here we have highlights and the shadows are right here if you want to add different color style to the image you could always play with midtones uh, highlights and shadows i want my highlights to be a little bit greenish okay and my shadows in the green as well i'm going to change a little bit all right midtones i'm not going to change it because the skin color is changing as well so i'm going to change our skin color a little bit all right so let's go back to tone section i feel like the photo is becoming very bright because of the adjustments we have done already so let's move on in detail section you could always bring up the sharpness of the image i feel like the sharpness is pretty good for this photo and i don't have to play with that i usually go for around 90 to 100 but today i don't want to do too much actually today i am going to play with effects tool as well so in effects section you could always you know um, do some vignetting if you want to actually it looks pretty nice we could actually do apply a little bit of vignetting all right and i would like to add some grain to the image for this time so let's look okay when your photo is really crispy you could always um, bring up the grain amount to much higher so but i just don't like you know blurriness in my photo so you can see the size if you change the size the photo is becoming very very blurry let's compare this is before and this is after i think this uh, light green color <laughs> suits the situation very beautifully now the next step is always going to be some healing process so we have tiny tiny pimples all right she has really perfect skin we don't have to do a lot for my liking this image looks pretty cool so far and i actually want to go ahead and crop this image a little bit not too much but i feel like i had a lot of space right here i also want to enhance the model's eyes as usual i'm going to create a mask bring up the shadows and then apply some greenness to the photo okay let's look at it amazing let's look at the before and after before and after today i would like to show you guys how we can do editing a little bit faster as a beginner photographer i used to apply all the presets in, in the lightroom but i like creating presets and i would like to show you guys how you can pr create a preset uh, for this image you if you press plus icon right here and um, press create preset you could always green highlight i'm just gonna do um i'm just gonna um created maybe we can actually add this masking because it's only for eyes right so anything else i'm gonna keep it so i'm gonna just create it as you can see here we have green highlight green highlight preset and you could apply the same preset to other images as well 